on this video i want to share with you the three major reasons why you are losing money trading even with signals a quick introduction my name is Anne Bietesa. i am a forex trader and a trading therapist at a plus trading up uh, you can kindly uh, connect with me via social media on facebook and on twitter this is how my facebook looks like it's just you can just search uh and you see uh this lovely picture here and discover page so you can just send me a friend request then we connect this is where i do most of my ranting about forex trading uh bad trading in general actually so let's go back to uh slide so here is a short review about me uh this was being sent in by obina ebay i'm going to read exactly as he sent it in uh, if you are struggling with trading i trust any bidder and i highly recommend him as a coach as well as his educational videos they will really give you insights into the secrets of trading successfully so that was a review from a member of the a plus trading community who has um, actually benefited a lot from our uh, educational videos now before we jump in into the business of the day i know most of you guys have uh, most of you have, might have subscribed to one signal services or the other and over time it it seems it's not uh, working so we are now thinking it's uh it's forex signal scam and or maybe you are asking yourself this question is it possible to stay profitable trading with signals and if the answer is yes then how uh it is very very uh possible to stay profitable trading with signals now how is this going to happen uh we s we get to see a lot of signal providers rendering uh the services with a high subscription fee like you see signal subscription of a uh, 50 dollars uh 100 dollars and so on the truth is on an average uh you are to make between 10 percent to 50 percent of your uh of your investment on forex though you can still do 100 or even 200 percent or even way more but that involves how high frequency of trading and also high risk and if case not taken you might lose your entire um trading funds so if a signal service is uh, the subscription fee is 50 dollars for example and you have a hundred dollar trading account the the there will be a challenge with you staying profitable because at the end of the day you realize that you are just hustling money to pay for the signal service again then also uh let's say for example uh the signal service uh is actually cheap let's say it's uh, about 15 dollars per month and you have a hundred dollar account but the trade accuracy isn't up to uh 70 or 80 percent you still be losing money so there are lots of factors around staying profitable trading with signals and today we are going to uh recover everything on this video i will try my best to make sure this video isn't lengthy i'm targeting less than uh, 20 minutes for this video but for the sake of the newbies those who are just uh coming into the um, trading trading market and does not know what is trading signals a trade signals is a trigger for action either to buy or sell a currency pay or asset uh, it's usually sent with a specific price and time uh, i believe you might have seen or heard so many signals and services or groups on whatsapp uh telegrams uh even on uh facebook too there are some facebook groups that offer uh signal services so all they do is just they do the, the market analysis send you an entry price where you should buy from for example send you an entry price send you a stop loss price uh and a take profit price some of them even go as far as giving you the loss size to use okay so that is the how should i put it the investopedia definition of trading signals all right so let's move to the business of the day so the very first 
thing on my list is the lack of trading skills so uh, majority of you just jump in into uh, the system without getting proper education or making sure you master your trading skills some of you even go uh, maybe go to YouTube watch a few videos free videos and you find yourself that uh, you are good you start trading uh, sometimes you maybe you are trading demo and you are making good money on demo and you bring that mindset to a live trading account uh, and you, you lose everything so uh, trading skills really matters when it comes to trading with signals because your signal provider will not come and uh, sit down hold your hand and say okay do this or do that some of you uh, maybe you are in a signal group and a signal was being sent uh, and you join the signal very late joining signals very late is bad let me make a scenario here for example uh, I send a signal say buy a pound dollar at 1.2102 now maybe one hour later or two hour later that price price have already moved in my favor like is let's say 50 or 70 pips in profit then you jump you come in and see the trade the trade late and you still jump in you shouldn't do such a stuff because you are jumping in at a late price for me to give an entry price is because there's something i saw in the market which you didn't see which you may not see that i took that trade on that particular price so the best thing to do in such scenario is for you if a trade has already moved uh, in favor all you need to do is to maybe send a pending uh, order like it was a buy trade you said a buy limit if it was a sell trade you said you said a sell limit you wait for price to retest the entry zone again the entry price is, is um, again but uh if price does not uh, um, retest the entry zone another way you can join that trade is for you to watch out for um minor corrections on the lower time frame maybe on your entry time frame when you get that correction you join the trade but when you join that trade on a correction your stop loss won't be the same stop loss i i gave i sent out initially you you have to use another stop loss but the thing is you are actually joining my train like following my train my um, projections and you can still stay profitable with that but in a scenario when you you see a signal um a signal let and price is moving negatively like it's against the trade let's say it was a buy trade also and price is not in profit is on the negative all you need to do is set a pending order to maybe like a buy stop so if price should reverse you know back to the entry it triggers your position and you keep moving in profit but if you set that uh, let's say buy stop and price goes down hits tp but it didn't trigger your own um sorry not tp but stop loss but it didn't trigger your own stop loss then you need to close the trade so this is ways you can manage your um trading skills and still stay profitable with trading signals so a lot of traders especially um, beginner traders and intermediate traders make this error they enter a trade very late so when you get a signal and you know you are late make sure you apply your trading skills to still join that particular um, trade then the second thing under the lack of uh, the second thing I want to discuss under the lack of trading skills is trading plan now you jump into the market without any plan you are trading you may be trading based on your signals providers plan and it's very very wrong you should have your own trading plan your own trading plan should include the your entries and uh, strategies your exit strategies your risk management strategies and even the time frame the duration which you are going to be trading so you should accommodate all these on your trading plan so when you wake up you trade your plan you're not just trading based on the signal so for example you get a signal uh, a signal from me and say uh and the signal i say uh sell gbp aud now if gbp aud is not among the assets you should trade on your trading plan you can avoid that particular signal or for example i send the trade at night and your trading plan say you should trade within the london and new york session you can avoid that trade with this you are still you know combining the signals you are getting with your trading plan to make sure you stay on the safe side right so trading plan is a vital um, component of any successful um, trader so you need to make sure uh, you draft out or you write out your trading plan and you trade your plan so the second reason why you are losing money trading with signals is the wrong trading mindset 
so many so many new traders come into the market with the gambling mindset maybe you have been playing uh sports betting <laughs> and you come into the market with that mindset if you come to the market with such a mindset you are going to lose money very fast trading isn't a, a get rich quick scheme uh rather it's a get rich slow scheme <laughs> or business so you need to come into the market with the right mindset uh i see traders who want to spin or who want to turn uh ten dollars or hundred dollar hundred dollars into fifty thousand dollars within two weeks within three months it's very possible but it's high risk so uh, the chances of you losing your uh, trading funds is 99.99999 percent if you should come in with that kind of mindset so make sure you come in with a good um, trading mindset then another thing i want to discuss under the trading mindset is revenge trading for example you are trading with sacred money let's say you took your house rent and you uh, you fund your life account you know when it's your house rent and let's say uh your rent is going to expire in the next one month and you are funding your uh, account let's say today and you with the hopes that in the next one month you will be able to make maybe 50 percent of that money or even 100 percent of that money anytime you lose a dollar out of that money there's this thing inside you that will say okay uh, you need to recover that money back especially when you remember that that money was for your house rent so trading with sacred money it's uh is a wrong approach to trading and this also triggers wrong uh, the wrong trading mindset when whenever you take a trade so at the end of the day you find yourself doing a revenge kind of trading like you want to revenge the market to get back what you have lost and Bef uh, before we say uh, jack robinson everything will be out of your account so <clears throat> make sure you are not trading with sacred money and make sure you are not being caught uh um, over trading or doing a revenge style of trading uh this is also the reasons why so many people lose money trading with signal so uh you need to avoid this when you are trading with a signal service so the third major reason why you are losing money trading with signals is poor risk management uh, under this poor risk management let me first of all talk about calculating your lot sizes your or some traders call it the position size so uh i send out a trade or let's say you receive a trade from your signal service provider and the trade says you should uh I sell USD JPY at a one one two point three four five, and you see the trade and and the stop loss is let's say fifty pips, and your TP is like a uh, hundred and fifty pips. It's a good risk to reward trade there. Now, if you don't know the right uh loss size to use, you end you end up taking more risks on your account you may you may end up risking over uh five percent of your trading equity and this is very bad because if you continue taking trades without calculating or deter knowing your loss the, the right loss size to use you'll be losing way more than you are gaining now i see a lot of uh um, trading gurus and the so-called experts in the market uh, say things like uh, if you are using a hundred dollar account you should use 0 0.01 if you are using a two hundred dollar account you should use 0 0.02 uh, for me that isn't cool uh, because um, your stop loss your loss size should be based on your stop loss in pips it should be based on your stop loss in pips because what if i sent three the about three trades were sent out the first trade came, came with a stop loss of uh, 50 pips the second one with a stop loss of let's say 70 pips this third one came with a stop loss let's say 100 pips if you are using the same loss size which is let's say a hundred dollar account 0 0.01 loss size you can't be risking one percent of your account based on that kind of a uh, approach so you need to calculate your uh, stop loss in pips to determine the loss size to use for each of the trade. Now there is a tool I I use in doing this thing easily instead of doing the manual calculation. At the end of this video, I'm going to share that with you. So I know you, you are thinking right now that ah, what is the name of this tool you are talking about? I'm going to share it with you.
now still under poor risk management uh it's not recommended to take all the signals being sent out to you like uh, a signal provider uh sends out 10 signals a day you're not supposed to take the 10 signals for god's sake uh and for example let's say you have a, a hundred dollar account and all the signals that are being sent the stop loss are uh, more than 50 pips and you are taking the, the 10 signals on your account you blow up your account because you don't have the trading equity to hold this trade until it gets into profit so if you are using a small if you are trading with a small account please don't take out all the signals choose the signals you want to trade choose the signals you want to trade don't take all of them uh, because if you take all of them in the wrong in the long run you blow up the account so these are the three major reasons why you are losing money trading with signals now in the next question uh, you may likely have it so how can i stay profitable trading with signals first of all you need to understand the strategy behind the signals you are receiving now do some background checks about the trader or about the institution who are uh, giving out the signals try to figure out what strategy is like because the truth of the matter is that there is no trading strategy that works 100 percent of the time there is no holy, holy grail in the market so every strategy has a downtime so if you are getting a signals from a, a, a provider that you don't understand the foundation of his strategy when his strategy is having a downtime you may likely feel that the signals are not working and you start panicking then at the end of the day you finger your trades and it ends up blowing your account so try to understand the strategy behind the signal if it's price action if it's based on some um, robots or is based on uh maybe zone to zone trading just get have an idea of the strategy even if you don't understand in depthly how to trade that strategy but just have an idea of the strategy because some strategy works on uh uh there are some strategy that works on the trending markets and some and doesn't it does not work well on the ranging markets so when you understand the idea behind the strategy and it's working well you know okay it's the market is trending so when the market is on the range and the signal provider is sending you uh, sign, uh trades you know he's sending you um, trades you can decide not to take because the market uh, condition does not favor the strategy so with that you can stay safe and your account will be safe then have the right trading mindset right so you need to come into the market with the right trading mindset don't trade with sacred money uh, you yeah, like your uh, house rents your maybe school fees or maybe your entire savings you don't trade with your uh, sacred money then come into the market with uh the right trading mindset also know that losses is part of this game you there is no trading is not about taking profit taking profit taking profit there are losses to you you will lose at some point you have to have that there are some there are some even with me there are some days i have a losing streak of uh three days five days throughout the five days i lose money i don't make one naira. <laughs> so losses is part of the game so you need to come into the market with the right mindset so if you feel you just want to come in and make money throughout then i don't think trading is for you just forget about trading uh it's better even close this video and don't continue watching then master how to manage your risks so uh when you master how to manage your risks then you are 70 percent ahead of other traders now to me uh i always say the only holy grail in forex in trading in general not just forex is risk management so if you can manage the risks there's no way you can blow your account there's this risk management model i've been using for uh over three years now it's been working perfectly fine and i'm now sharing a, a testimonial with you that since i started using that model i have not blown any of my trading accounts so you should apply that then you are on the safe side so to stay profitable with signals make sure you understand the strategy behind the signals you are getting have the right trading mindset and master how to manage risks so now that you have learned how you can stay profitable trading with signals the next question you may have is which signal service provider do you recommend
so right now i'm going to introduce to you the 1000 pips trading challenge this is an initiative from the a plus trading hub so uh on this challenge our target is to hit 1000 pips within days first of all before i, sh I share more details about this challenge uh let me give you a sneak peek of our trading signals room now you are seeing series of screenshots on my screen on my screen there are about four of them right now uh, each of these screenshots represents uh activities for a week in the trading signals room so this very first one here this very first one here i'll start drawing things on the screen but don't laugh at my drawing because i know sometimes they look bad so on this first on this particular week here uh we took trades on euro aud and we took uh we took some profit out there we secured some profit 200 pips out there and on euro jpy we secured about uh, 95 pips 95 pips but at the end of that week we booked 475 pips for this particular week so on this other screenshot here uh, we took euro usd by euro jpy sell and then we had a pending limit of uh, on a spend a pending sell limit on usd card and we end up deleting deleting that uh, pending order because price actually moved uh, without um, triggering a trade so the only trade that hit our target for that week was um, euro jpy and we booked 357 pips on that particular week then uh, this other week here we still sold uh, euro uh, aud at 1.6412 and and we also bought GP, gbp uh, usd but funny enough these two trades didn't even go well that week the only trade that went well that that particular week was nasdaq we took a nasdaq swing trade and and price hit our tp at 6,500 pips. So this was our target was for the month. Our monthly target was 1,500 pips. So we actually used one trade to uh, make our monthly target. But that particular month, we ended up booking close to 10 and uh, 10k pips on because of this uh, Nasdaq Nasdaq trade. So on this other week, our focus was on gold. Not like we didn't take any other uh, trades on other pace, but our major focus was on gold because gold was uh, was sitting in an interesting zone. So we decided to focus on gold, and we took like two positions on that on that um, pair, and we ended up booking 600 pips that week. The first position uh, gave us 395 pips. The second one gave us two. 15 pips so at the end of the week we had 600 pips from just gold so you see the way we send signals on our trading rooms is that we don't send signals every day we don't send signals every day signal comes in only when we see that price is on a good level and we can pull a trigger from there according to one of my trading coaches it will uh, he calls that um that such levels or area uh, or such um, positions areas of uh, value so we only pull triggers from early areas of value when we see a good confirmation so we pull triggers from there so that is why we don't send trades um, trades every day but every week we get trades and they are always profitable at least we get up to 80 to 90 win win rate from our trades so and all signals here are sent based on price actions analysis okay so we do more of swing trading so most of our signals are sent out based on price action analysis and swing trading so that is how our signal room looks like now i know you are all excited and you will want to join this trading challenge but i want you to know that joining this trading challenge won't magically make you a forex millionaire you have to go through the transformative process by learning and practicing in order to become a profitable trader this is not a magic pill at all so if you have difficulties following simple instructions please don't join this trading challenge all right now i you may be thinking 
who is this trading challenge for now this is for all class of traders uh, if you are a, a day trader uh, a swing trader a long-term trader or if you are as far as you are a beginner trader you can still join make sure you have the basic knowledge about trading like you can open a trade close the trade know where to place your stop loss and your take profit and know how to break even and maybe trail your stop loss too so if you can do all these things then you can join this trading challenge so this is how we are going to achieve this 1000 pips this 1000 pips so uh, first of all you'll be added to the trading signals room uh, which is on telegram then signals will be sent to the telegram ch channel so all you need to do is copy the signals paste it on your mt4 and then you take profits but sometimes you may also take losses i'm not giving you a hundred percent guarantee that all the signals i'll send i'm going to you are going to make profits with it so sometimes we are going to take some losses but we make sure our profits are more than our losses so we can hit our 1000 pips target so here is requirements to join the challenge uh, first of all you need to register with my recommended broker by clicking the button below this video then open a live trading account and make a minimum deposit of 200 dollars uh, you can you can you can deposit more than 200 but a minimum of 200 dollars because um we, our trades are swing trade uh swing trades so it, sometimes it takes a little bit of time before it moves in our favor it all depends on the market conditions and behavior so that's why i recommend at least a minimum of 200 dollars so you can be able to also hold these trades with all with us then uh when you do that when you are when you open a live account and your it's verified and you deposit 200 dollars in your account so all you need to do is send your name the name you use in opening that life account and also you send your account id to me via whatsapp on this phone number you see on the screen here 0703-933-5695 so you send your name and your account id to that whatsapp number so when it's been validated that you have registered an account with us and the deposit is on that account the 200 dollar is on the account then you'll be added to the signals room on telegram i guess we just approached testimony time so we are seeing a series of screenshots again here uh here we have uh three screenshots and these are from different individuals who have used a signal service the first one here is from nehema i don't know that name. i don't know how to pronounce it better but this is what he said uh, good morning boss god bless you sir for that nice dark trade i'm still on the trade with tp at 9768.0 so he actually made profit out of this signal he's trading a naira account i guess so this is the trade here he made 50k from that signal just from that signal alone i think he's a he's more like a high risk trader so maybe that is what he was able to make up to uh, that on a naira account he made 50k on that trade on just that signal alone then this is a uh, lua he took some of our trades uh, look at the screenshot there on his charts and he said good morning sir the usd mxn trade you shared weeks back i have been monitoring it and i have entered at a price very close to the support now it is in profits so uh he had to share the testimony then this is from Ola Dele Dandio he took a signal on USD card and he made good profit there so these are testimonials from members of the A plus trading community those who are, uh, those who are in the signals room uh, but before we move forward I want to ask you some questions the very first question is uh, would you like to join this trading challenge I guess you're answering yes to that question then the next question is how much will it cost you to make 1000 pips like with your current uh, skill in trading how much do you think is going to cost you to make 1000 pips now uh, if I were to charge for this challenge if I were to charge you a fee for this challenge uh, I made easily say okay you should pay me uh, since it's a $1,000 challenge I can say okay you should pay me 
uh, three dollars for every pip for every pip we are going to make and if we should calculate three dollars times one thousand pips that is three thousand dollars so i can easily charge you three thousand dollars for this trade um, for this training so the total value for this trading challenge is about three thousand dollars but i'm not saying you should pay three thousand to join this challenge all you need to do i'm giving you a special deal now so all you need to do is register with my recommended broker by clicking the button below this video on uh, open a live trading account fund a minimum of $200 you can deposit more than that but a minimum of $200 then you have access to this challenge for life here is a final question for you if this trading challenge can truly help you make an extra 1000 pips in the next 20 days would it be worth opening a live account and making a deposit of $200 just think about this I guess your answer is yes to this question too. Now I know you may be thinking, is this trading challenge for new traders? No, it's not for new traders. It's only for uh, beginner and intermediate traders. And this trading challenge is for a duration of 20 days. So after um, 20 days, we start again. So after 20 days, if you have gotten your 1000 pips and you still want to continue you can still remain in the group with that uh maybe paying anything extra no hidden charges but if after the first 20 days and you are not cool with it you can decide to you know leave the challenge you may also be asking if we are going to send uh signals on cryptos uh, we are not going to send signals on cryptos all signals are for currency trading stocks commodities and synthetic indices so these are the areas we are going to cover in the uh, trading room so no crypto signals only this all you need to do is just uh, tap the button below this video open a live account then fund with a minimum of 200 dollars here are more testimonials from those who have been taking our signals uh, this very first one here uh, you see uh, the guy said my trade is still moving in my direction and here's a screenshot of his trade look at the profit there and the signals all there too and this second one this is from victor acn he said i took the trades but i closed about an hour ago in profit your analysis are accurate i must come i must commend you keep helping us then this other one is from theophilus he took a gbp jpy signal he took a, G, a, uh, a signal on gbp jpy and he made profit out of it and he said uh, this is a confirmation to me that you are the coach i must follow thanks sir from now on i will take any signal you send on to me on my life account while i am learning to do it myself under your mentorship so that is still more testimonies we have i have so many testimonials to share with you but i don't want to fill this uh, video with testimonials okay and to make sure that when you join this trading challenge you are you're going to stay profitable i'm going to share these bonuses with you uh, if you should take action now like if you should tap the button below this video uh, register on my recommended broker and deposit a minimum of uh, a minimum of $200 so I'm going to give you a free training video on how you can reduce your trading risks by 99% and still cash out hefty sums uh, this trading video alone is worth 25,000 Naira uh, the bonus too is going to be a free training video on what to do when trades go against you so this trading video this particular training video is going to give you uh insight on developing the right trading mindset i will show you exactly how to manage your positions whether it's on uh, profit or losses uh this video uh is worth fifteen thousand naira. then the third bonus for you if you should take action now is a free training video on how to easily determine the right loss size for your trade so this one is worth at seven thousand naira so i've packaged all these bonuses for you and this is going to help you make sure that you are not losing money in the trading challenge now look at what this guy said here it's actually mind-blowing for me i sent a signal 
on USD MXN how he took the signal his name is Kainde Adeleke he took the signal and he made 100k from this signal you can see from here uh, look at the testimonial here. he said your analysis on that trade was great I made over 100 over 100k on the signal nice job boss then even up below that you still see blessing of, of para he said uh, I believe in your signals they are just so good I wish to be like you and start trading with real accounts still saving up to be coached by you so our signals are always great in the trading room so all you need to do right now is tap on the button below this video uh, register on my recommended broker then uh, deposit a minimum of $200 then from there you start making profit just like every other person in our signals room so if you have any questions or you need help with deciding you can call or whatsapp me on 0703-933-5695 but if everything I've said on this video sounds cool to you and you are interested you want to also make this 1000 pips within the next 20 days then make sure to tap the button below this video right now register on my recommended broker for a minimum of $200 and we start except so 1000 pips is awaiting you don't overthink on this just tap the button let's move to the next level so i'll see you on the inside